Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour something from resincourse.com. It's one of the latest um, courses and it's called Rose Black Technique. And um, I don't want to use rose, so I thought I mix my white with some of the night blue resin ink from Octopus and my white. It's like most of the times, if I'm not using like Enoki or white crystal resin ink, I'm using this white, um, yeah, liquid color. And I mix this into, yeah, into my resin. The resin I'm using is the Ultra Cast resin. And um, yeah, let me just start. Um, I want to use the Silver Dazzler, it's from Laura's Art Corner, and I just put a little bit like here, just so that the mold is covered. The mold I'm using here is the um, Chunky Crystal Mold from ResinCourses.com, it's mold number 008. So I don't want to use more glitter, just this little bit just dazzling into my mold and now I'm gonna start with my black and the black is the pigment drop from Etta Art it's this one and I am gonna pour from the sides so I'm very curious how this is gonna work so I try to be careful don't um, pour too fast. Basically, this pour, I believe, um, it's very easy to um, to pour. But of course, I need to see if I achieve the effect. It's closing, so I will just use what I have in my jar. Um, yeah, I keep on going from the sides. I don't know if this makes any difference. Maybe I should have already put my blue color, but we will see. Anyway, that's what I'm doing till my color is empty, till my jar is empty. And now I'm taking here my blue mixture and I hope I can achieve a nice effect and I'm gonna go in a puddle like so just pour it right into the center and I have a little bit left and what Maika is doing she's going also around so that's what I'm doing too and I will see what's going to happen. So I'm very, very curious about it. Um, there's still quite a bit in my jar. So I'm just putting this into the center as well. Of course, she's taking a different mold for her technique. But um, yeah. I thought i just try this chunky mold and now I'm just filling up my mold with a clear resin and I hope that this little hole in the center will close up and that I have a nice effect. So chunky mold is still not filled up even though I thought I mixed enough resin but I guess I didn't mix enough resin. I went for oh, 400 grams but let me just go here and I think it won't be so bad if it's not filled up to the top. So I'm not putting any more glitter in here because I have the bottom with my glitter mix and I thought this grayish um, blue color might yeah 
match very well with the black. So I'm very, very curious now um, how this is going to work. I also um, put this to the edge. Also here, just the sides a little bit so everything is touching. And now, yeah, this is basically what I've done. And we will see what result I'm going to get. If there's something, if this is closing up, I believe that there will be happening something. So, yeah, I just put you on a time lapse. And then we see each other for the great demolding. <laughs> So, and this is now one hour later and the pattern moved again. So I'm quite curious what is on the other side of this mold. But this I only can find out tomorrow. So we will see. <laughs> So, time for demolding and I'm very curious how this worked because it was the first time I tried this technique. Basically, like I said earlier, it's an easy technique, but you just need to have the right um, quantities. You need to have yeah, the right resin and sometimes you need to play around a little bit if you achieve such effects. You can see the edges are still a little bit soft. But, well, um, I was so curious. Normally I wait a little bit longer, but here I wanted to know how it's going to look. And look at this. I really love those black crackles. The, the effect is amazing. And if you look at the edge, at the crystals, I really love it. And also with the dazzle, with the silver dazzle which I just um, dazzled a little bit on top of the mold. It's very beautiful. I'm quite happy with the result. And yeah, I'm going to show you the end result just with a close up. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.